We'll start by going into insert online photo and the first thing that you're going to look for is a floor and wall background and designing in PowerPoint is the same as designing in Google Slides and my theory is it's probably the same in Keynote. So um, I have the common use filter on so all of these images should be free to use if i unclick the filter it probably would give me more options i'm going to go with this one but those options may be copywritten so i'm just keeping the filter on for now i want a little less floor so i'm just going to drag the top up and i'll go back to insert an online picture and this is the fun part. This is just the part where we're decorating the classroom. You get to shop with no budget. It's pretty fun. So I'm gonna look for an alphabet poster and see what I can get. And once again, with the filter, my options are a little bit limited. And that one's kinda cute over there. But let's see what else they have. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to, for a video's sake, choose one that I saw above. That was kind of cute and kind of colorful. We'll use this one. Just hit insert, and now I'm going to scale it down using the corners. I'm just going to drag it in. It keeps it in proportion. The smaller you make the items, the more things you can add to the room. Let's go ahead and look for a whiteboard. And the larger you keep the item, the less things that you'll put in the room. And once again, if you drag from any of the outer corners, it keeps the item in perspective. If you do it from the middle dots, it would scale it in vertically or horizontally only. So scaling this down to go with the poster. You can see those grid lines. It's um, in alignment with the poster, I'm just kind of looking for the center of the room a little bit. And I'm gonna now look for, hmm, let's look for a desk. I'll look for a teacher desk and I'll put PNG under my search, which makes it a transparent background, a little bit easier for editing. But it does reduce my options once again with the filter off. Well, I mean with the filter on. Eh, I'll go with this desk. It's a little dark, but it's a nice size desk and also can hide my feet if I just want to crop my bit emoji. I'll put this off to the side. And next I'm going to grab, hmm, let's do a wall clock because every classroom has a wall clock. And like I was saying before, this is the same method. If you ever designed a virtual classroom in Google Slides, it's the same. I haven't done it in Keynote as far as a complete classroom, but I'm sure any presentation um, application should be able to operate the same. Scaling this clock down to go above my whiteboard. And next, I will find a window. Now, I'm going to do a shape poster first. Hmm. That one will work. Nice and colorful. 
And once again, you'll design whatever theme you're into or interested in. Um, this is just a demonstration on how to do it in PowerPoint if you're not comfortable with Google or you haven't jumped on the Google platform. But once again, it's a wonderful community out there of um, Google Slides that share their virtual classrooms, which is awesome because there's some people who are just so creative. So once again, you get as creative as you like. I'm adding a window at this time. But creative as you like and um, or as simple as you like because this just reflects your personality or an extension of your personality. So have fun with this, but I only did this just to show it can be done in PowerPoint, um, just as efficiently and just as fun and just as elaborate or as minimal as you choose. I think that's a good spot. Just gonna add a couple more things to the room. I'm looking for a number poster. This one's simple, I'll go with it. But once again, if you're a math teacher, use the things that you love that represent what you're trying to teach and reflect what you're trying to teach. If you're an art teacher, get as, lab as elaborate you as you would like with your art materials. I mean, just have fun and make it something that piques your students' interests. So you don't have to use the same elements someone else is using, whatever you want to do. So once again, you would start off with an empty slide and then you would just insert from online pictures or if you have pictures saved to your computer, because sometimes I know you guys make newsletters or whatever and you have some clip art on your computer, use that clip art that's already saved. There's an option to just go into pictures, which is right next to um, insert the online pictures and use the pictures on your computer. I'm going to use my bit emoji that's saved on my computer that I use in my beginning of the school um, year orientation. I like this calendar because it's all bright. So I'm going to put it right underneath my number chart. I'm going to shrink it down some. I guess it looks okay there underneath the whiteboard. It's a little big to go under the number chart. So this is a time to be fun and be creative, but a lot of things, um, the main purpose of this classroom is once you get it de decorated, is to make it interactive, uh, and that's the really fun part for me. So um, with that weather chart, I would link a weather either video or our weather song that we sing each day. Um, also the numbers, I would probably put the link to the number of the week that we're working on or the concept that we're working on. So um, also think about that when you're adding your elements. I'm going with an art easel here. Um, maybe I would link a video on either me drawing a video, I mean drawing something, a teacher-led art project, or a video um, that they could just watch regarding whatever concept is being implemented. But this is a time for you to have fun. Very simple, very easy, um, not extremely hard. At this time, I'm going to get my bit emoji that, like I said, that I used in my PowerPoint presentation. I'm holding coffee, so this was just saved on the computer under pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and animate this. So after I inserted the picture by clicking on picture, insert picture at the top, I'm positioning myself. I'm going to go up top here and push animate. I'm going to add animation. I'm going to appear. So first I'm going to appear in the slide and then I'll add animation again. Well, first I want to make sure that I do it after the slide begins. And I'm going to add a path. And I'm going to preview. 
that was a short path I'll undo that and I'll make it longer so add and I'm going down to path and I'm going to do the custom path and I'm just going to stretch it out and create my own path headed towards the desk Let's see what that looks like Ooh, a little bit fast so I'll go up top and I will slow this down by increasing the duration so the bigger the number the slower I'll move and that kind of works maybe a little bit slower so I'm gonna make the number a little bit bigger I'm just hitting up let's preview again that looks a little bit more natural for me to get over to the desk all right so next I will just make a copy of this slide by clicking on it left clicking and then it has insert you can insert either duplicate slide or you can copy the slide so hold on let me go to insert and duplicate perfect and now I'm gonna click on the clip art though because I'm gonna change this animation I'm gonna move me to be behind the desk so I went to format and I'm gonna change my direction so I'm gonna flip horizontally and then I'm gonna move the desk forward and I'll push myself back so it looks like I'm behind the desk in the second slide And I'm going to add another animation. And hit add. Well, first I'm going to the animation panel to get rid of the first one because I'm not going to be walking backwards from here. So I'm just going to remove by left clicking. And now animate. And I'm going to appear in the slide. Animate, add animation again. And I'm going to do the teeter where I just kind of shake slightly let's go ahead and preview it there you go and so first I'll walk over to the desk in the first presentation and then I will be behind the desk in the second presentation I hope you enjoy this video I hope it helps please subscribe for more content thanks for watching bye